Hey everyone, this is Richard Noto. I am a realtor and home inspector in Winter Garden, Florida. And right now I am in Lakeshore, a Toll Brothers community, and we're about to view some model homes. It seems like it's about to rain. I'm going to try to get the outside here briefly for you. And then we will walk inside. Okay, so the first thing that you could see is from the ground, it's not the standard red uh, pavers that they use on the porches. And there's plenty of room to sit. And there's a nice big entrance way for you. And it sounds like there's a very nice echo. So every time you walk in, oh, there we go, the echo's gone. Okay. Beautiful home. Look at that entranceway. Nice floors. Let's see what we have to the right over here. So to the right, we have a sink and a wine fridge. And there's your closet. <coughs> And this looks like it could be a first floor master. It does have a full bath over here. And the shower is standard. With the exception of the extra tray for the soap, which is very nice to have. Everything else in here uh, looks upgraded, you know, as you would expect from uh, over here at Toll Brothers. As far as finding a new home in Winter Garden, it's going to be very hard to match the style and uh, the quality of a Toll Brothers home. But the uh, community is on its way out as uh, the amount of homes left is limited. So if you miss the opportunity to purchase a new home here, you would have to wait and pick up a resale, which would still be very new because the community is only a couple years old. So over here we have this little section over here, which is common in a lot of homes now. So you have counters, and cabinets and you have your pantry and let's walk back out this way and let's see what's to the right they always lock these doors but this is your under the stairs storage always nice to have and over here, you have a half bath, a nice size half bath. Okay, so this is a three car tandem. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. The floors are finished. Let's see if you can get a look at that. Very nice. So here's your two car garage. And there's your spot for your third or for your storage. Okay, so now we are in the section that is the kitchen and the living room and your dining room. And 
I'm going to take a walk around to the end over here to show you the outside. There's a fantastic pool attached to this model. And you got your TV and fire pit or fireplace or whatever you want to call that. Okay, let's get another angle. And over here is a nice place to sit. So you could sit there while you cook as well. Or if you're helping uh, the kids with homework or something, they could sit there while you're cooking. Let's see how many shelves we got. We got four. Fantastic. It's always good to have the extra storage. And there's your dishwasher. A huge fridge. And your oven. You got a double. So let's go see the upstairs. Okay, I'm almost at the top of the stairs. But just stopping to pan. So you can have a better idea of what it looks like. Hopefully the camera's in focus because the floors are, are um, a brown color or anything that's uh, dark like those cabinets. Um, it always gives cameras an issue with focusing. So this is the upstairs master, no doubt. This is a lot bigger than the first floor. Carpeting is very soft. The padding must be um, extra thick underneath it. Let's take a look at your exterior, your balcony. Got a nice size balcony. And let me try to get you a rear shot here. The ceiling looks good. Upgraded. This room is fantastic. It's just it's just so big, spacious. Let's check out the bathroom. Okay. So you have a single sink on this side, which is nice. Here's your tub. And on the opposite side, you have a sink, which is excellent. There's some nice space in it. And you have a rain shower. Hopefully you can see that. It looks like there's a lot of glare. You have a rain shower and you have a seat, which is good. So the first thing that I always look for in a house is if the first floor has a full bath, and this one does. Full baths on the first floor are very important. Um, it helps with the value of the house for selling it in the future. And also because if you happen to get hurt, you have a surgery, or you just wanna live in the house uh, when you're older and you can't really go up and down those stairs anymore, 
you could live on the first floor for the most part rather than have to sell and move. Because moving is not fun. I, I personally don't like moving. It takes a long time to set up and get established. So this is your laundry room and you have an extra sink in here which is nice. A washroom sink or a, possibly a slop sink or however you want to call it but very nice, very nice to have. Okay. I'm going to turn back because I believe I bypassed the closet. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. But I didn't really video the closet, so let's get a video of it because it's, it's a large closet. Okay. So now I'm going to head left out here and we're back where the stairs. So we've got the stairs and this is the living room or family room upstairs section, the way they have this set up. So from here we have a few ways to go. There's three ways. I'm going to go left. And you have another full bath. There's your shower. And here's a bedroom. And a nice size closet. That's a large for sure. Okay, so we're back where the living room was. There's a whole closet. And here's a bedroom. Legend of Zelda, what an awesome bedroom. There's Link. Now it's one of the best games of all time on the N64. Definitely one of the most uh, uh, popular games from the Zelda series. I remember they did a uh, remake for, what was it, of the GameCube? An update. That's a nice bedroom, nice size closet again. A lot of space. Wow. It's got a cove in there. And we have two double, uh, two sinks. So it's a double sink counter. Here's your toilet and your shower. and a closet for your towels. So basically the two bedrooms share that. Okay, so that's it for this model home. Fantastic home. Well, let's go back downstairs and out. And if I could help you out in any way with your home sale or purchase, well, please do contact me. I am no pressure sales, and unlike the sales team that works in the office for the builder or the listing agent for the resale seller, I do work for you. And my services are essentially free to you as a buyer because it is paid by the resale home seller or the home builder. So please do contact me. I do have a lot of service that I could offer you as a realtor. 
and please do like, favorite, share, subscribe this video. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out.